Hi, this is Chinmaya studying in grade 8. Have you all observed that modern science changes often times? For example, before the smallest particle was a molecule and today we have quarks and leptons. But there is another great science which hasn't changed since a long time. And here I'm talking about Srimad Bhagavatam. The transcendental science. It is not only for knowing the ultimate source of everything, but also for knowing our relationship with God and our duty towards the perfection of human society on, on the basis of this perfect knowledge. Personally, what I experienced that I was flushed with triumph and I got mental peace hearing and reading the stories of Srimad Bhagavatam. Nowadays, some of the people are self-centered and as a result, it creates controversies. But if one reads Srimad Bhagavatam together with family or friends, then all of them will experience an increased love and a strong bondage between themselves and this will lead to happy, satisfied and peaceful life. Hare Krishna. Two years ago, as a student, I faced many difficulties. There were many problems that came along my way. There were many expectations from my teachers, from my parents. I tried my best, but the result was not in my hand. Whether I will get success or failure, it was not in my hand. And as I got failure, I went into depression, negativity, and took a negative approach towards life. Then, the first holy book that I read was Srimad Bhagavatam, the first canto. Yeah. Srimad Bhagavatam is the answer to everything. It clears all the negativity, negativity, all the depression within your mind. Srimad Bhagavatam is the answer to all your questions to lead a pious life. The guiding principles of the Bhagavad Puran are straight from the lips of Lord Krishna and the logic and knowledge inherited in its each word makes it a perfect guide. Srimad Bhagavatam is the best for everyone, for every answer to a human being's question. Srimad Bhagavatam has arisen in this Kali Yuga when all the learning has been destroyed and Lord Sri Krishna has departed to his own abode, Golok Prindavana. It is for the ultimate good of all people and it is all successful, all blissful and all time perfect.